What's up guys, Landon here from the Full-Time Filmmaker team and this is the DJI Air 2S, DJI's latest release. And I feel like I say that every other video, but DJI's just been putting out a lot of new products lately. By the way, this video is not sponsored by DJI, but we do actually have a sponsor and that is Storyblocks. Now, I know you've heard of Storyblocks and you might already be using it for your projects, but if you're not, you're missing out. If you're doing freelance work or a passion project, or maybe you're just creating for YouTube, there's literally no easier way to just immediately increase the production value of your videos. Now, Storyblocks is an unlimited library of sound effects, music, overlays, backgrounds, stock footage, stock photos. What I use most and what you'll see throughout this video are their title animations. I'll just browse until I find one that matches my video, quick download, pull it into After Effects, and then customize it to be whatever I want. And because I have the unlimited all access plan, I can download as many as I want until I find just the right one. Plus, it helps me to create more videos because everything I need for my project is just right there, ready to download. So if you wanna learn more about Storyblocks, go ahead and click the link in the description or go to storyblocks.com slash Parker. All right, let's talk about this new drone. Now this thing is called the Air 2S, but honestly it competes very, very heavily with the Mavic 2 Pro. So what we're gonna do in this video is go over the new features of the Air 2S, and we're actually gonna break down the differences between the two and help you decide by the end of this video, hopefully, which one would be a better fit for you. And by the way, if you wanna learn how to shoot and edit drone shots like what you saw in the intro of this video, we've got several tutorials inside of our full course, Full-Time Filmmaker, so if you wanna check that out, hit the link below. Okay, first let's talk about the camera since this is probably the most important aspect and actually where we see some of the biggest differences between these two drones. Now both the Mavic 2 Pro and the Air 2S are rocking one inch 20 megapixel sensors. And with the Mavic 2 Pro, you also might have just a slight edge from the Hasselblad collaboration that DJI did with this drone and specifically what's called the Hasselblad Natural Color Solution or HNCS, which is apparently designed to make the image pop. And according to Hasselblad, that gives you a superior color accuracy and dynamic range. If we just took some unedited JPEGs from each drone and put them side by side, you'll see the sky in the photos from the Mavic just pops a bit more, it's more blue. If you look at the highlights here on the rocks, it's a little too hot on the Air 2S, but it's exposed really well on the Mavic. And honestly, nothing against Hasselblad, but even with HNCS, I think I still prefer the colors that I got from the Air 2S. Like to me, they just seem more rich and natural. Now I'm showing you side-by-sides because that's just my opinion and you might prefer it the other way around. But for me, I'd rather make those color and dynamic range adjustments in Lightroom on my own instead of letting HNCS take over and do it for me. So for photos, you might have a little bit of an edge on the Mavic 2 Pro since it has just slightly better dynamic range. But if you're pretty good in Lightroom, you can get very similar and and honestly, I think equivalent results on the Air 2S. So I'd say you could go pretty much either way, they're gonna perform basically the same. Honestly, comparing two separate videos on each drone side by side, both shooting in D-Log 10 bit, by the way, you can tell the Mavic 2 Pro is a bit flatter straight out of camera. And if we throw a quick grade on them, we can actually match them up once again until they're pretty much identical. So colors and dynamic range in the end are gonna be about the same between the two, but where the new Air 2S really pulls ahead here is with its resolution and frame rates. So the Mavic 2 Pro can shoot video in 4K at up to 30 frames per second and surprise Surprisingly, the Air 2S does 5.4K at 30 frames per second, and it does 4K at 60 frames per second. Like this drone that's lighter and cheaper with the same one inch sensor has higher resolution and higher frame rate capabilities. And it's not just on paper where that sounds impressive. If you look at the side-by-sides from each drone at their highest resolutions, the Air 2S looks amazing. Just such a crisp image. And if we zoom in 400%, you can really see the difference in detail here. It's also worth mentioning that in 4K, UHD on the Mavic 2 Pro, there's a pretty significant crop going on. But even in 5.4K on the Air 2S, there's no crop at all. And as far as focal lengths go, the Mavic 2 Pro comes out to be a 28 millimeter equivalent, while the Air 2S is a 22 millimeter equivalent. And in my opinion, and in a general sense for drone footage, since they're usually meant to capture wide landscapes and cover large areas, for me, I think the Air 2S has a little bit of an advantage. So up to this point, it definitely seems like the Air 2S just has a little bit of an edge on the Mavic 2 Pro, especially with the resolution. But I think the biggest downside, and honestly, a lot of people probably won't care too much about this, but the Air 2S has a fixed 
aperture of f2.8, while the Mavic 2 Pro can go all the way up to f11. Now, I really don't find this to be like a huge deal. I don't care a ton. I usually shoot at f2.8 anyway, because I like how it looks for most scenarios, but if it's a really sunny day and maybe you forgot your ND filters and you're trying not to bump up your shutter speed, an adjustable aperture does come in really handy. And that might be a selling point for you, so it's definitely something to keep in mind. And also DJI included a set of ND filters for the Air2S. I think it's almost kind of like a peace offering basically for not having an adjustable aperture. So that will save you a hundred bucks or so since you probably want to buy some from a third party anyway. All right, now let's check out the low light performance between these two drones. Honestly, side by side, they're pretty dang similar. If I had to pick one, it would probably be the Mavic. It just seems to smooth out some of that noise a bit more where it can. And if we switch the ISO levels a bit, it shows itself a bit more here. You can see the image from the Mavic is just a bit smoother in this area specifically. Only downside, I guess, with noise reduction like that is it does look a little bit splotchy at times. So again, very similar results on each drone, but I'd probably give the Mavic a little bit of an edge because of the noise reduction. Now, with all of that being said, personally, I think the Air 2S just has the better camera between the two. The only con, which we already mentioned, is the fixed aperture. But if you're willing to look past that, I think the Air 2S really does win this category. Now the differences in design between the two are actually more similar than they are different. Basically, if you take the Mavic 2 Pro and you just scale it down by about 20%, you get the Air 2S. The only thing that's kind of oddly placed here are a couple of the sensors. On the Air 2S, we have these two sensors on the top of the drone, but you'll see there aren't any sensors on the side, which means it's not going to stop if you're about to hit something on the side. Whereas the Mavic is pretty good at detecting obstacles and stopping itself because it can see things from the front, from the back, and then from the sides. So this was kind of an interesting move by DJI here. I feel like you would be way less likely to hit something above you and much more likely to hit something on your side like a tree or a building. Oh, shit. Nothing happened, there's nothing to see here, literally nothing. Anyways, that's something just to keep in mind if you do shoot a lot of parallax shots or you orbit frequently with your drone, which I think is most people. And I never ended up crashing this, so I don't think it's suddenly like super prone to accidents or anything, but it's definitely something to take note of. And now because the Air 2S is a bit smaller, it's actually shed a lot of weight. So it comes in at an extremely light 1.3 pounds, while the Mavic 2 Pro weighs an even two pounds. So as if the Mavic 2 Pro wasn't portable enough, the Air 2S with its slightly smaller footprint is even more portable. It's even easier to throw it in my camera bag with the rest of my gear. One thing we haven't quite taken a look at with this new release is the controller and then some of the other things that come in the box. Now, side by side, you'll see that the Air 2S controller is just a bit taller than the Mavic 2 Pro's controller. And then instead of these hinges at the bottom that you get with the Mavic 2 Pro, we now have a new antenna system that extends from the rest of the controller. So you just pull this straight up and then you can slide your phone in right here. Personally, I like having the screen at the top of the controller. There's not like a huge difference between having it at the bottom or having it at the top, but it does feel more natural up there. And actually very similar to the Phantom 4 Pro controller with the built-in screen, which I love. So between the two, when we're comparing design, if you're able to look past the fact that the Air 2S doesn't have obstacle avoidance on the side, I still think it takes the cake because it's so light and somehow even more portable than the Mavic 2 Pro. Plus for me, I love the controller, so unless you're a total beginner and you're really worried about crashing your drone on the side, I'd say the Air 2S has a bit of an edge in the design category. Okay, finally, let's talk about what the Air 2S is like to fly. Now, obviously, since this is the latest and greatest from DJI, as usual, we're graced with the new smart features like Active Track 4.0, which lets you select your subject and the drone will autonomously fly itself, keeping a safe distance. You don't even have to control it at all if you don't want to. There's also a new mode called Master Shots. This is the same thing as what DJI has on the Mimo, which basically lets you select your subject and then it'll automatically fly and record. And then when it's done, it'll take those clips and create a little video for you with music. And it's nothing crazy, it's just using templates to edit it all together, but it is still kind of a cool feature. So real quick, here's a video my drone made by itself. And as 
far as flight time goes on this thing, DJI says that you can get 31 minutes of battery life out of it. It's the exact same actually as what you get on the Mavic 2 Pro. And realistically, you'll actually get probably around 20, 25 minutes each before you need to bring them back, just depending on how hard you're pushing them. I also put both drones in sport mode just to see how fast I could get each of them to go. And the Mavic almost hit 46 miles per hour, while the Air 2S was a bit slower at around 43 miles per hour. So when it comes to top speed, the Mavic wins, but because the air is so much lighter, it actually feels a lot more zippy and less heavy once it's in the air. You also do get a bit more range on the Air 2S since now it has four antennas and the newest OccuSync system. So according to DJI, it'll fly up to seven and a half miles away while the Mavic 2 Pro will do just over six miles. Last thing we're gonna compare here is noise levels. I know that's kind of a random thing to compare, but a lot of people didn't like that aspect of the Phantom series because they're significantly louder than the Mavics and super disruptive when you're flying in public. Comparing these two side by side though, they're both actually about the same in this category. The air might be just a touch quieter, but it's extremely minimal. Honestly, it's next to nothing. So no surprise here between the updated UI, the tracking features, the speed, the range, and the noise levels, the Air 2S kills it in this category as well. Now, obviously it's not a huge surprise that the Air 2S has beaten the Mavic 2 Pro in most of these categories. It's been two years actually since the Mavic was released. DJI has grown as a company and technology in general has also just advanced quite a bit. So it only makes sense that the specs would improve in that time frame. But now the question has to be asked, why did DJI release a new drone that almost completely wipes out their highest tier prosumer drone for significantly less. Now, I think because the Mavic 2 Pro is now about two years old, technology has kept up, so 4K resolution isn't as impressive as it used to be. Now, it's pretty standard for most new camera systems, so DJI has brought 5.4K and a lot of other upgrades to their mid-tier drones, and they're likely saving some bigger upgrades for the next generation of Mavics. What those upgrades will be, I honestly have no idea, but I also don't know what else you would need that the Air 2S doesn't already offer, besides an adjustable aperture and maybe those side sensors. But I guess we'll see most likely later this year or next year what DJI ends up doing with the Mavic series. All right, so there are obviously pros and cons to each drone, but don't just take my word for it. If you're in the market for a new drone, really weigh the differences and decide for yourself which one checks the most boxes for you specifically. I've obviously sided with the Air 2S. I just think it's a better buy. It's cheaper, it's newer, it has the new smart features. I love the controller. So for me personally, it checks the most boxes, but it might not do the same thing for you. And also, if you already have the Mavic 2 Pro, you still have a great drone. So I wouldn't stress that it's like outdated or anything, cause it's really not. But to be honest, if the Air 2S does happen to have some of the features that you feel like you could benefit from, since the Mavic 2 Pro is more expensive, you could probably just sell it and get the Air 2S from DJI at no extra cost. Maybe even have a little extra pocket change after that transaction. And maybe you'll even have enough pocket change to pick up one of our filmmaking courses over at fulltimefilmmaker.com. We have several mini courses teaching you specifically how to master videos in certain industries, and even a mini course called the Seven Day Filmmaking Challenge, which helps you learn the basics of filmmaking, like lighting and camera angles in just seven days. So if you're interested, go ahead and check that out up here somewhere or check it out in the description below. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, if you guys have any further questions, please let us know.